Welcome to Extreme Web Designs. My name is Rocky and in this video, I'm going to show you how to change the autoplay settings for a media or a device in Windows 10. I'm going to show you two ways to do this. So let's get started. Okay, so let's look at the first way to change the autoplay settings for a media or a device. In the lower left hand corner of the screen from your desktop, click on the start menu icon and type in the words autoplay. And then click on the option that says autoplay settings. Now it's going to show you the screen which gives you the options to choose the autoplay defaults. So for a removable drive right now, I have selected the option that says ask me every time. If you want to change this, you can simply click on the drop down here and select whatever option that you see fit. So if you want to use file explorer to open that folder so that you can view the files whenever a removable drive is inserted in your device, you can go ahead and click this option. Or if you want to configure storage settings, then simply select this option. I want Windows 10 to ask me every time I use a removable drive. So I'm going to go ahead and click the option that says ask me every time. So likewise, for the memory card, right now I've selected the ask me every time option. If you want to change this, simply click on this and select whatever option you want. So if you want to import photos and videos using the Windows Photos, you can click on this. Or if you want to play any media, you can use the Windows Media Player option. Do note that these options may differ based on the software that is installed on your device. So there could be a little bit of difference from what you see here and what you see on your device. The same applies to this one as well. These options may be available and specific for my device, but you may not see this. You might see something else. Read through the options that are presented in the list and select whatever you feel like. There is one way of configuring the autoplay options. Now let's look at the second way of configuring the autoplay options for a media or a device in Windows 10. Simply click on the start menu icon in the lower left hand corner of the screen and type in control panel. And then click on the option that says control panel. And when the screen pops up, click on the option that says autoplay. And here there is a list of all the available options that you can choose from for each type of media that you use with your device. So here is an entire list. You can go through each of them. I want to explain one of these settings so that you can use the same logic with the others. So for example, if you want to insert a removable drive in your laptop or a PC, then right now the current option is set to ask me every time. If you want to change this, simply click on this drop down here. Then you can choose whatever option you see fit. If you don't want Windows 10 to take any action, then you can simply click the take no action option here. Or if you want to open the folder to view the files that are inside of the removable drive, you can select this option and Windows 10 will automatically open the file explorer for you to explore the media that is present on the removable drive. Likewise, there could be some more options that are specific to your device. In my device, a Dropbox is installed. So I'm seeing this option. You may not see this option in your device. So likewise, just go through all these options and select whatever you see fit. And if you want to specifically choose a specific action with each of the media when it is detected in Windows 10, simply click on this option that says choose what to do with each type of media and it's going to disable the removable drive drop down here and it's not going to work even if you click on that. You can select specifically what action you want to trigger when Windows 10 detects pictures on the drive. So if you want Windows 10 to open the file explorer so that you can browse through the photographs, you can simply click this option that says open folder to view files. Likewise, if you want to configure what happens when videos are detected, you can simply click this and select play Windows Media Player. For the music, you can simply select from the list of available options. And if you want to play the audio files, you can click play audio files and it will show you the software that will be used to play these audio files. Simply click on that and that will take care of it. For mixed content, you can simply choose whatever option you feel is appropriate or if you are confused about that option, just leave it alone or just simply click outside of it and let Windows do whatever it thinks best. So likewise, you can take any other action that you think is appropriate for other types of devices such as camera storage, DVDs, Blu-ray discs, CDs, software, or any other devices. 
And once you're done with all your changes, just make sure that you click the save button here and that's gonna save all your settings. So that was the second way in which you can configure autoplay settings for a device or a media in Windows 10. So those are the two ways in which you can configure a media or a device in Windows 10 on your desktop or a laptop. If this video was helpful, please show your support by leaving a like, comment, and share the video on social media. Subscribe to the channel and tap the bell icon to receive all future updates. Thanks for watching.